Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Spillway. Sometimes, even though I wait until the recording thing says that it's been recording for a second, sometimes uh, it still doesn't actually like record for a few seconds after that. And I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know what's doing it. I don't know why like it happens. I don't know how to fix it. It's uh, it's a problem. It's a problem. I, I recognize it as a problem. I do not have a solution. <laughs> the, the solution is. Uh, to, uh, to, like, probably reinstall Windows, I'm guessing. So that I have, like, clean drivers and all that. What am I doing in this map? This isn't how you play on this map. You just... You just get good and shoot stuff in the head, okay? It's very simple. It's wave one, you know? Shoot it in the face and it dies. Um. Anyway. I know what happens. I, I, don't, have, I don't have a fix for it, though. So you're just gonna have to pick up with it. Sometimes it'll just come back, like... Away and uh, today we've got you know it's just, it's just gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. I don't know how to fix it. It'll probably get resolved some point in the future. You know, maybe years in the future, perhaps. <laughs> but it'll get resolved one day, I'm sure. Today I uh, want to continue talking about the uh, the YouTube glee. I'm still grinning ear to ear from the uh, the realization that. Uh, my content is actually being consumed at like such a, an enormous frequency. I didn't. I didn't recognize that that people were actually enjoying it that much. I mean, I get comments all the time from people saying that they like my content and they like watching it, and you know all that kind of stuff. But what happens is I only get a notification that somebody was subscribed or that somebody did subscribe when uh, their subscriptions are public. So you can, you can like, hide your subscriptions so people can't see who you're subscribed to. Down you go. And if you do that, then I don't get a notification when you subscribe to me because that would be revealing the information that you've chosen to have private, right? Obviously, like, thinking about it, it makes sense, right? Um, that's why I get so many subscribers and I don't even know because most of them just have their subscriptions private, which, you know... That's fair. I, uh, I always do find it, uh, I, get, I get a certain satisfaction when I get that ma that notification, you know? Because typically the way it happens, the, the way that it, it typically happens is, uh, you know, somebody will leave a comment and be like, Hey, I really enjoy your videos. Like, you know, people aren't really uh, doing this kind of stuff for KF2 and it's, it's cool that you are and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then, like, ten minutes later or something. It'll be a message saying that they were subscribed. <laughs> I'm like, heck yeah, dude. It's, uh, it's it's really fun. Speaking of that, if you go back to the first episode, please don't. Uh, but if you go back to the first episode, um, I was talking about how I want to fit into this like niche as a as a uh, Killing Floor YouTuber, where I I commentate and just kind of ramble about stuff and you know, there's no editing. It's just it's just a you know a good little. 10 to 20 minutes with, with you and me talking about uh, whatever, you know? Like, there isn't really anybody that's doing that. And I wanted to, to fit into that niche. I want it to be the change that I want to see in the world, you know? And, uh... I get, I get comments now, actually, like, fairly frequently, where, where people are... Like, it's hundreds of episodes later. Like, I, I doubt that all these people are watching the first episode and, like, referencing it, you know? But... I get, I get comments, like frequently about people who are saying that you know people who are like hey it's it's really cool you know there aren't enough people that make uh, like kf2 commentary like that and you got another subscriber from me and i'm like that's exactly the niche that i wanted to fit into and it's so satisfying that it's like a thing that that at least some people are, are appreciating and wanting it's 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 such an incredible it, it's, it's it's such an incredibly satisfying feeling oh whoa we're broken we're broken. Because it, it feels like such an accomplishment, you know? It's just really, really nice. Anyway, we're coming up on... Uh, well, not really kind of anyway. It's kind of tangentially related, sort of. It's like specifically related, actually. But uh, we're coming up on the end of 2020. It's uh, 29th today as of the time of recording this. For you, when it goes up, it, it might be the, the 30th. I don't know. I mean, it's probably the 30th uh, for some of you, like, right now as I'm recording this. Because it's only, like, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon Pacific time. If you're 
Like, I don't know. Britain? Even? Like, you, UTC is tomorrow right now, I believe. Um, so it might be, you know, if anybody's over there, over in... If you're any, if any of your British, it's probably the 30th as, as of the time of recording this, but... By the time it goes up, a lot of you will be... Probably in the 30th, it's, it's, you know, even even East Coast America might be, depending on what time I uploaded it. Um, anyway, we're coming up on the end of it, just a couple more days left of 2020. It's been an eventful year, yeah? Quite an eventful year. Lots of stuff has happened. You know, with, uh, with COVID and... I mean, there was an American election. Um... There was some Canadian politics stuff that went on as well, but nobody cares about that. <laughs> it's sad, but true. Um, like, lots lots of stuff kind of going on this year. But uh, I think, uh, you know, ultimately, at, at the start of the year, you know, maybe... I mean, like, honestly, towards the start of the year, March, April-ish, I was heavy, super depressed. <laughs> like, major league depressed. Um... And, uh, I can't really say the start of the year was particularly enjoyable for me. But I think overall, this this year has been a, a fairly productive and uh, enjoyable year for me, even despite there, there being COVID. You know, nobody in my family um, that I'm aware of, so that I care about, sorry, um, was uh, was affected by COVID in a, uh, in a particularly negative way, you know? Every everybody's kind of you know like negatively affected by it, but like nobody died, you know. Everybody's alive. We're all still you know fine. I, I think a couple of people have died, but nobody. That that's more of a thing for the the rest of the people in my family who are sad about it. Like they're like, oh yeah, you know, such and such is his past, and I'm like, this is the first I'm hearing of this name. Like I, I get that it's sad. I I I can't personally like be upset by it you know <laughs> like um, I'm sorry to hear that but this is the first time I'm hearing that name so they're they're as good as like some stranger on the street to me sorry um, and uh, you know nobody, nobody in my family was particularly uh, you know, killed by COVID we were just uh, inconvenienced by it some jobs were lost you know, I, I didn't get to move out, I didn't get to, uh, like, I've lost, well, I didn't have lost my job, really, but I don't work anymore. Um, I, I, I'm still living at home, I had plans to move out, like, a lot of things kind of came in and inconvenienced me and, and my family, for sure, like, I'm not saying it wasn't bad, it just, uh, you know, it could have been a lot worse. Um, and then you look, look at the bright side of things, you know, like, as, as bright as it can be, but you know it's a pretty terrible situation. But I think I made the best of it, uh, starting up YouTube. I didn't, I didn't think I'd be doing this, honestly. Um, now, <laughs> when I started, like when I made episode one, I honestly, if, if you asked me back then, uh, when I was making episode one, like, hey, so it's uh, coming up on 2021. What do you think you're doing? I'm like, I don't know. I probably gave up on YouTube and uh, I'm working on like a stupid, like Path of Exile build or something. Like that's that's what I would have said. But I've I've stuck with it and I'm uh, I'm continuing to expand and, and do all this. So to to me, it's been a very productive and uh, a year year full of accomplishment and and uh, happiness. As as you know, sad as as the year has been for for so many people, it, it was. For me, I think we're kind of past the point where it's noteworthy, if that makes sense. Like, COVID is just a, it's, it's a part of life now, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not really sad about it, it's just, it's, it, this is what it is. You know, this, this is how life is now, right? And like, it'll go back to, to, we'll have some semblance of normalcy at some point eventually, I'm sure. Um, but like, it just, it doesn't stress me out anymore it doesn't um, it's just this is life you know and um, I'm, I'm having fun I'm having a good time it's it's honestly it's one of the most productive years I've had as a 
as an individual because I have I've pursued what what like I want to do and I'm finding relative success in it and it's like it's it's a good feeling all around so I think I'm gonna look back on 2020 as a uh, as a particularly positive year and uh, and I'm really glad that I decided to, to start up with the YouTube thing I'm really glad I decided to try and like stick with it and and commit to it as a possible career because if I didn't you know I would have given up and I would have uh, been doing something else and I wouldn't have been as happy and I would have been you know some regular old person who's like yeah 2020 sucked it like ruined everything but I kind of saw the opportunity to have a lot of spare time and focus on what I want to do and, and have fun with it and I, I, I did it and I'm having fun you know and uh, it, it sucks that COVID happened but at the same time you know I don't want to say I'm grateful for it because <laughs> that seems terribly terribly uh insensitive to be sure but like that's almost the right word you know like obviously we'd all be better off if COVID didn't happen right like duh you know but it, it did happen we can't we can't change that and um you know i, I might have been happier if uh, if COVID didn't happen and if I was able to like properly move out and get my own place and live on my own and continue working at McDonald's and you know do that and live my own life and and, and have my own place and, and have that privacy that that I so so want um, I might have been happier doing that but how do I know you know how do I know I don't I I, I couldn't know you know maybe I end up getting a, an apartment at somewhere with like a serial murder living next to me and I get killed you know like you don't know how the world's gonna like you don't know how stuff's gonna happen until it happens right so I don't know that this isn't the better outcome for me all I know is that this is the outcome that has happened and I'm pretty content with it and uh, because of that I'm, I'm fairly happy I think the 2020 is a good year you know a lot of bad stuff has happened but a lot of good stuff has happened too and uh, I'm pretty happy for it is I guess the the moral of the story there yeah, no, obviously it'd be better if COVID didn't, like, kill a million people or something, you know? Like, it, it sucks, you know? It's, how many pe how many people has COVID killed at this point? It's it's an enormous number. Um, how many COVID deaths global? You have to add a bunch to it, too, is the other thing. Uh, 15,000 in my uh, province. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Yeah, 1.8 million deaths worldwide um, how many people were like killed in the Holocaust it was like six million or something like that right not to like <laughs> but but like the Holocaust is like the greatest, like, I mean, greatest as in, uh, not, not in the good sense, but like the, like, grandest, biggest, most terriblest, you know, um, like event in, in like human history, you know, like millions of people being tortured and killed, right? COVID's almost like approaching that number now, which is like terrifying you know I mean I guess the good thing is that COVID doesn't discriminate so you you know but anyway <laughs> anyway um, it's a lot of people dead you know and so obviously yeah it'd be better if none of those people died and if uh, instead of all those people dying we all got to live and be like happy and healthy and normal and stuff but again, it didn't happen. That's not, that's not the way it went. We, we got what we got, and we have to live with it. And Ultimately, I think that... Uh, I mean, I guess the way that it works out is if YouTube ends up being my career, then uh, I'm going to consider this as being, like, the greatest change I ever could have made. The, the best decision I could have made in my life to, to commit to YouTube during, the, during COVID. Um... And if it doesn't work out, then I'm just going to have to go, like, back to McDonald's, I guess, and, uh, you know, work a minimum wage job, move out, get a place, and, and continue focusing on YouTube as much as I can, and then hope it eventually takes off. 
But, yeah, I don't know. We're coming up in 2021. I thought COVID would be over by now, to be honest with you. Like, like back in the, at the start of the year. Oh, the start of the year sucked. You know? Like, when COVID first started being, like, a major problem in the world. And, like, quarantines were happening and all that. Honestly, like, my least favorite part about uh, early COVID was people worshipping the, um, the frontline workers. And I know that sounds, like, terribly rude. But I don't mean it in like, I mean, I mean worshipping, okay? I'm not being like, aggressive or something. I, I don't mean like, you know, people appreciating the frontline workers and I'm being like, a little nitwit and, you know, saying that they're worshipping him and they don't deserve respect or whatever. I mean worshipping, okay? Like, shrines to the frontline workers and like, you know, honking their horns at like, 8 o'clock in the evening because uh, the frontline workers are coming home and stuff. I'm like... I don't think any of those people would be happy knowing that, like, you're keeping up your neighbors <laughs> to appreciate them. It was, it, oh, there, there was, like, a month where, where, where at, like, 8 o'clock, everybody would just, like, set off all their alarms in their cars and everything, and I'm just like, yeah, all right. You know, how many people are, like, trying to sleep to go to their frontline jobs in the morning, you know what I mean? Like, like, like... Frontline workers aren't only coming home at like 7 o'clock, right? They're working there overnight too, they're working there in the morning, you know, like... There isn't just one shift where the frontline workers are coming home. You know? So when, when you're when you're like setting your alarms off at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the, the evening, there's probably frontline workers who are sleeping at that time. Who have to go to work, you know, in the, uh, in the morning or, you know, for a graveyard shift or something. Um, and, uh, I guess, I guess they probably wouldn't call it a graveyard shift at a, like, hospital or something, right? That would sound, that, that would seem, like, terrible. It's probably just a night shift. <laughs> yeah, I worked a graveyard shift. You what? Um, but, you know, you got people, like, so you're, you're keeping up those people. Like, you, it, it's just, it's so stupid. It was so stupid. And people got mad at me for being mad at it. They're like, yeah, they're just trying to, like, show their respect for the frontline workers. I'm like, yeah, but what about the frontline workers who are asleep right now? Not that I'm a frontline worker, but I'm still annoyed by it. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I'm not even a worker. Alright? Come on. We can do it. Um, oh, it was, it was so annoying. That stopped now. You know, it was only for, like, maybe a month, if that. But it was, it was like, that was the most annoying part of it for me. Because it's, like, every day... And every day I was like, yeah, I don't think a single one of those frontline workers are appreciating this. Like, you're only doing this so that you feel good about yourself. It's it's total virtual signaling. Total virtue signaling, you know? Like, you're not you're not doing it for anybody but yourself. It's it's totally selfish. If you if you did it, I'm calling you out, alright? If you're if you're one of the people who's going out putting your alarm on for the frontline workers, I'm calling you out. Okay? I'm calling you out publicly, okay? It was a, it was a very disrespectful thing to do. I don't know why it took off. I'm glad it uh, it stopped. That was the most annoying thing for me. I didn't. Uh, yeah, I was I was like hyper depressed towards the uh, the start of COVID. So I didn't like go shopping. I didn't go out. I didn't do anything. I didn't have a job. I didn't have responsibilities. You know, it was just depression and despair and. You know, everything else. So, uh... I didn't really have to... I wasn't really inconvenienced by it. Besides the, like, major depression and despair and all of that, you know? I wasn't really, like, personally put out by, uh, by COVID. Um... Besides that, like, you know, I was hyper-depressed. But they didn't feel like it was because of COVID, you know what I mean? But, yeah, definitely, definitely the start of COVID sucks. But then it just became life, you know? It's, it's sad to a certain extent because so many people are still dying and like getting sick. And it, it, it's, I have like, it used to be sad, you know? It used to be like, oh, we got another death in, uh, on the island, you know? And, and now it's like, well, another few people have died on the island. Oh, I hope it doesn't come over uh, around here, you know? It's like... We've be, it's become so distant from like the people and 
involved. It's, it's, it's sad, but... At the same time, I'm having fun with the YouTube stuff. I'm having a lot of fun with the YouTube stuff. Did we get another subscriber? Is that is that what's happened here? Is that what's gone on? 92 subscribers. We're still at 92. You need to subscribe. 42 uh, watch hours. Holy cow. 42 watch hours in the last 28 days. It's gone up since yesterday. I guess we had a, uh, a poor performing video uh, 29 days ago. I suppose. Yeah. 42 watch hours. That's absolutely crazy. And like the amount it's gone up is insane too. 53% since uh, just crazy. Crazy numbers. Crazy growth. I look forward to like three months from now because it's exponential right as they get more viewers and more subscribers more people are like seeing the channel YouTube's showing it to more people like I was saying in the uh, in last video it was like 20,000 impressions or something like that in the last month crazy and that's why that number is only going to keep growing as uh, as I get more likes and more comments and more views that's why I ask for likes and comments they do so so much for the channel the more um, like engagement that that happens on a video, the more likely YouTube is to, to recommend it to uh, to somebody on like uh, suggested videos or you know on somebody's homepage or something. You know, the, the more people interacting with it in a, in a positive fashion. So not, I, I think dislikes are bad, but likes and comments are, are like engagement. It, it shows that that uh, people are enjoying this. We should show it to more people because people are going to enjoy it. You know. Um, so like as as I got nine subscribers this month, I'll get more than that next month, and then more than that next month. It's like an exponential growth. As you grow, you grow faster, right? So like three, four, or five months from now, it's, it's going to be more than nine subscribers that I got in the last twenty eight days. And to come to the realization that that I'm like actually growing as a channel when I thought I wasn't, and I thought I'd given up on it. It's it's been a very exciting day. I've been doing a lot. There there's been a lot of daydreaming and. Uh, and uh, excitement welling up inside me. It's like four. It's like five o'clock, like I said, you know. And I'm recording. That doesn't happen normally. I normally wait until like seven, seven thirty. But I, I was just too excited to record, you know. I had, I had to do it. I'm just, I'm excited, and I'm like really hyped up about it. Not that I'm like not normally, but I'm like more now. It's just really, really cool. Anyway, it's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.